Saturday, this defense seemed like you guys were back to your old self. Four turnovers, kind of what you guys have been known for. How, how much do you feel like you guys needed a game like that? Uh, definitely. Uh, I felt like it was good for us to uh, <laughs> definitely put that on film, uh, put that on tape, just knowing how uh, dangerous we can be when we get a lot of hats to the ball. Uh, and I feel like Coach Parker always preaches uh, getting the ball back and just uh, doing what we can defensively. Speaking of hats, you might put one on an old friend. This weekend, what's it going to be like going against Tyrone? Uh, I just, I know his family, uh, a guy I grew up with. Uh, just excited to, to play against him. Uh, we did it last year, uh, so you know, it's, it's just another game. But this is different because he's going to be playing a lot. He's playing a lot, and he's playing running back exclusively now. Yeah, um, definitely. They got him a big piece of the, the offense they have, and um, I mean, we're gonna we're gonna game plan for him like we would uh, any other running back uh, in the Big Ten. When did you first meet him? I played AAU basketball with his younger brother probably since kindergarten. And then, obviously, that's when we uh, we met. So, me, Deontay, and, and the Tracy family, we uh, we know each other pretty well. You stay in touch regularly still? Uh, in season, a little different? Yeah, in season, a little different. <laughs> What's the last time you talked to him? Uh... Probably the last time we played them at, uh, at Purdue. At Purdue. Yeah. I don't, what are some, I don't talk to too many people. <laughs> <laughs> what are some of the other challenges Purdue shown on film for you guys that you've seen? No, I got a good quarterback up there, a uh, pretty good tight end as well. Um, and, you know, just the offense is it's a. Uh, uh, they're different uh, coaching staff, of course, so um, we're looking at a new offense, but we got five games. Uh, so it's not like the beginning of the year, but we got five games, plenty of tape. Um, and just, you know, of course, they're going to try to get their guys the ball in open field and use their weapons how they how they usually do. Are they doing a lot of tempo? Um, we we got to watch the TV copy, but, I mean, we'll, we'll be ready for it if they do. Um, we kind of... Kind of have two defense going, two defenses going on right now. Uh, one for tempo, and one for if guys slow it down. So um, we're prepared for anything. So when you say two defenses, like two different units, or or, or how does that how does that work? Uh, out? Just like just two how we books? just how we we uh, set the front, um, like just how we get everybody aligned. Uh, we can if we know they're going fast, we can get them aligned a certain way, and if we know they're slowing it down, we can get aligned a certain way. So just basically where our guys are, are at. Thanks. How much does it help having five games of a, a new regime on tape? Yeah. Compared to maybe playing them like yeah, two. week 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 one or week two is really hard because um, I mean they they could literally do anything. Um, but usually week five is I mean that's the team that that that's the guy's characteristic. That's how he's going to play. Um, and those are like we have we know the plays like a team likes to run usually week five. Um, so we just use that to our, our advantage, and um, you know, if they if it was the same coaching staff, then obviously you have five years of you know the offensive coordinator being there. But this week's a little bit different. Can you explain lack of sacks so far? Why you guys haven't gotten home? You you've been in the neighborhood, but um, lack of sacks. I don't know. I just try to play linebacker. Sure. <laughs> um, maybe I got to do a little. Do a little better in a pass coverage. Give them some more time, but okay. I don't know. I just make sure I got my guy. Okay. <laughs> I know there 